This video is about hooking up pilot tubes. That's this aluminum tubing here and the flare we use to flare <laughs> the ferrule we use to hook them up. These are usually pilot furnaces that actually have a pilot light uh, maybe electric ignited maybe just a standing pilot. Here's a standard old gas valve that you would put this into. Uh, but let's take a closer look at this fitting. Okay, this fitting is you know similar to any type of ferrule except the ferrule is actually mounted. It's actually part of this fitting. That's this this part right here. And what happens? You know, a ferrule, and I've got another video on ferrule. I'll refer to it, but. Uh, the ferrule actually crimps onto the tubing. See, when my tubing's in like that, the ferrule actually crimps down on the tubing. Well, this one's designed so that as I tighten this, this starts to crimp right here onto the tubing. And as it crimps, it actually breaks off right there. So that's a real thin. Uh, thickness there. It just breaks it off and then you finish tightening it up. Pretty much exclusively used with natural gas uh, on their pilot tubes. Okay, here we're looking at a gas valve and right here is where that fitting is going to go in. Now you can see at the bottom of that uh, where that fitting goes in there's a place for the ferrule to uh, push up against and of course that will seal it. I don't always trust these very much. I uh, do like to put either oil on them or a little bit of pipe dope. Usually I'll put oil on them. If it doesn't work I'll put pipe dope on, dope on them. I put pipe dope both on the threads and I don't put it actually in the gas valve. I put it uh, here on the threads and then of course there. So uh, when I hook one of these things up, the, one of the biggest things I want to be concerned about is cross threading into the aluminum of the gas valve. This thread here, uh, because it goes in aluminum, boy it's really easy to cross thread these things. So let's kind of go over how we would put this together. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the threads. And a little bit on the surface. Okay, when you install this, make sure the fitting is pretty much bottomed in there. Then you can start hand turning this nut. Now, what I like to do is, I don't like using crescent wrench because these wrenches are easier to use and they'll tell me if I'm cross threading. This should turn easily. Now remember, I have lubricated this with a little bit of oil, so uh, it should turn easily. If this thing turns about a half a turn and then starts getting hard to turn, you're cross threading. Back it out, try to get it back in again. You can ruin a gas valve if you don't get this right. Now, I'm getting some resistance now, and this is tightening as this tightens up. And as I get it tighter and tighter, it's going to break off. And it's broken off, and it's in tight. Okay, that's the easy way to do it when it's all out there in front of God and everybody. Uh, so you got plenty of room around it. A lot tougher when it's in a piece of equipment. But it's just a question of workmanship and care. Be sure that thing is tight. Now, a lot of times you're just remounting one of these things where it's already on there. And then you've taken it off and take the pilot out or something. 
and then you're putting it back together. Try not to bend this tube when you're taking it out so it goes back the same way as it came in. Eyeball it to try to be sure that you're not going in crooked. Then using your wrench to start easing it in. If there's resistance, back it up, fiddle around with it a little bit, and then try to get it in there without cross-threading it. And the last thing you do is get the pilot going and then check for leaks at every fitting that you uh, moved with electronic or with soap bubbles. Uh, and that's pretty much it on uh, those gas ferrules.